Yeah. Run, 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 Oh, you mean it can't run and it run from man? You know why you come right as well? No, man, you come right. Oh, you play wheel at one. You have to have 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 one. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what uh, go on? A blessed and wonderful Sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the Diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps. In the morning, I don't know to the name of Sunday, the day when some of the ones and ones I'm traveling Verse the church. Please remember on the spot news media's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. You see your Jamaica run right and now, so you know for sure, most definitely. So we need that now more than ever. And uh, today, the official red rice and roaster day, you don't know my peeps. The day when uh, some of the ones and ones in the kitchen I deal with the finger licking chicken. <laughs> yeah, man. The day when uh, some of the ones and ones them decide for just relax after a hard work week but whatever you're doing wherever you are please continue to look out on the corner yeah, because what the old dirty corner boy them always out there alerts so we are gonna kick it off this morning over there in the eastern part of jamaica we are talking about the St. Thomas Police Division, where two firearms, several rounds of ammunition were seized following operations in White Horses and Hampstead in the parish of St. Thomas, respectively, on Friday. So reports from the police is that sometime around 6.30 a.m., a team of officers was on operation when they went to a house in the White Horses community. On their arrival, a search of the premises was conducted and one Beretta 9mm pistol and a magazine containing 14 live 9mm rounds was found in a bag in the ceiling of the house. The firearm and ammunition was seized and three males who occupied that premises was taken into custody so during a second operation sometime around 5 58 p.m a premises in the Hampstead community was searched during the search one man was seen throwing an object inside the house the object that he threw inside the house was however retrieved by the police and was found to be a Glock 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 25 live 9mm rounds of ammunition. All four occupants of the premises was taken into police custody. Their identity as this time will not be released pending further investigations. But the police them definitely sought out the charges to be laid against them. <laughs> yeah man, so another decent spot of work again by the squad of them. Yeah man. Now over there in the troubled, crime-riddled, war-torn, Kingston Central Police Division. The communities of that division has been rocked again with yet another loss of life. Some series of knockings and clappings going over there in the Smith Lane section of the division, leaving one man lifeless. The man in question has since been identified as 22-year-old Howard Hill, called Spanky. He's from a James Street address in the Kingston Central Police Division. It is said that he was at his house with two females. 
However, none of the other persons were hurt in that brutal onslaught. No reports reaching on the spot news media that sometime around 3.20 a.m., Spanky was with two females when several men knocked on the door and identified themselves as police officers. It is also understood by on the spot news media that the men kicked the door open, entered the house and opened gunfire, hitting him all over his upper body and head. The men then escaped in the area on foot. The now deceased was however taken to the Kingston Public Hospital where he was pronounced you know what. Now on the spot news media has not yet ascertained a photograph of the 22 year old Howard Hill otherwise known as Spanky and who really is Spanky and try to figure out why they would come in the house, spare the life of the two females and take Spanky's life. Now that definitely seems as if it was planned and orchestrated. Probably, just probably, you don't know. Some of these females just may be heavily involved in a lot of these knockings and clappings that we see are going But anyway, and the Spot News Media is most definitely going to do some digging into this one and bring it forward to you in subsequent newscast. Yeah, man. Now over there in the St. Catherine South Police Division, I want to look on the screen right now. This old dirty kind of boy yeah known as Tevin Pasley. He's from the Central Village community. He was arrested and charged some time ago for the brutal slaying of a police corporal identified as Delwyn Jackson. Corporal Jackson was on his way to purchase a motor vehicle in the volatile era of Central Village. It is said that Tevin Pasley and also other criminal elements was posing as the sellers of that motor vehicle. It is said that they cornered the police officer and took his life in a brutal and deadly fashion where the police officer and his taxi driver who took him to the area came under heavy gunfire and lost his life. Now, Tevin Pasley was on the run since August 18 of 2021, but was cornered and captured in a police dragnet in Lucy Market in the parish of Hanover. So this criminal element is presently behind bars. But the thing in you know, my peeps, even whilst behind bars, this criminal element continue his path of destruction. Now he's in police lockup at the 100 man police station and they attempted a daring escape from that police lockup. However, that escape was prevented by the police officers, but a hacksaw blade was still in that cell block. So basically, the police officers got real good information that the Hoxha blade is still very much in there. So they gathered a team of police to enter and raid that cell block. To their surprise, instead of giving up the Hoxha blade and other harmful devices, the criminal elements put up a resistance against the squad of them. The squad is basically said Tevin Pasley led most of the inmates to riot in the cell block. And of course, riot control measures had to be used by the police officers to quell that fiery situation. It is said that Tevin Pasley led a group of inmates who basically launched an attack on the lawman who was trying to recover that axa blade along with other dangerous implements that was being concealed in the cell block. However, the police, of course, managed to quell the situation. Now, Tevin Pasley 
is going to find himself before the courts again charged for the assault of the police officers. It is said that over 42 prisoners who are charged for murder are presently in the custody of that particular lockup. The foiled escape is considered the prevention of a major catastrophe that would have resulted in the killing of many innocent civilians in St. Catherine. So we definitely have to give thanks to the squad of them for really prevent one such escape for happen. Can you imagine 42 of them that they know were charged for take people life and knocking and clappings and all sort of other serious crimes? If them the boy that did ever escape, me I tell you no, that good and niam some we supper. Yeah, man. So I'm saying all of that to say this, that some of them old dirty kind of boy is like a leopard that cannot and will never change its spots. Some of them boy are redeemable like Digicel Pines. So when they squad them and the soldier them wall on some of them boy are dirt settings because them boy are not going to ever change. Violence has its place, believe me. And when it come on to criminal elements like that of the likes of Tevin Pasley, the only language them boy they understand a clam 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 boy food get nyam. Yeah man. Now over there in the troubled, crime riddled, war torn Clarendon Police Division, the Clarendon Police is probing whether a knockings and clappings of a man over there in the Buckner district in Maypin on Friday night has anything to do with a case he has presently before the court. Now a man who has since been identified as Shandy Grant, a 19-year-old so-called Mason of Sevens Road in the parish, lows Fim Tree Pines in a hail of bullets whilst he waited at a car wash. The 19-year-old deceased Shandy Grant is definitely no stranger to the police and definitely known in the area because he has a case before the court where he was accused of having intercourse with a minor and had been reporting to authorities on his condition of bail. So reports from the police is that sometime around 10.27 p.m., Shandy Grant was at a car wash when he was pounced upon by armed men, heavily harmed with, of course, them tall up, tall up and shot up, shot up. The police report stated that him get can up several times all over the upper body and head. It is even said that one of the men went over him and give him a sizzler. Watch it make me empty the clip on them type of treatment. He reportedly lost his life same place upon the spot. The gunman dead just briskly walked away in the area on foot. So residents seen all of that brutality. Some on the police who came on the spot and found his lifeless body lying on its back in a pool of you know what with what appears to be a portion to can up can up wounds to his face, right knee, upper body and the lower part of his right arm. Grant's body was however removed to the Mapin Hospital Marg where he was confirmed you know what. Police stating that while they do not have a clear motive, they are investigating if his knockings and clappings resulting in his loss of life was linked to the matter before the courts. Some peeps over here, may I tell you, in a jam rock, the camp where the thugs them camp at definitely a move bilious. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you, and still in the parish of Clarendon. This heartfelt and heartbreaking story is definitely going to break the hearts of us Jamaicans, but more so for those residing in the diaspora. As a 62-year-old United States resident was abducted from Portmore St. Catherine, she was robbed 
a sharp, blunt instrument was used to inflict some serious wounds to her body also and left for dead in the parish of Clarendon. The woman who is from Connecticut in the United States but also has residence in Jamaica arrived on the island on Wednesday of last week. She has been admitted in serious conditions in the hospital. The police have since named a woman only as Tamika Miles as a person of interest in connection with that brutal incident. Tamika Miles, you are being asked to turn yourself over to the police with immediate effect. No reports from the police suggest that the woman was visiting the island to make funeral arrangements for a sister of hers who lost her life recently. She reportedly was staying with relatives in Portmore. The police said that sometime around 10.30 a.m. on Thursday of last week, she met with a lady known to her as Tamika Miles at the Portmore Mall. The lady reportedly came and picked her up in a motor car with two other men. After entering the motor vehicle and driving a short distance, the men attacked the woman, the police statement stated. It is also to note that the woman was reportedly robbed of her handbag containing personal belongings. She was stabbed repeatedly repeatedly then taken to a place in Clarinda known as Gingeridge and thrown from that motor vehicle into a precipice. Residents of the community went to the woman's assistance after they heard her crying for help and observed her crawling out of the precipice, blooded and her clothes torn up. The residents summoned the police who arrived and saw the badly injured woman with what appears to be several stab wounds to the abdomen and chest. The lawmen subsequently assisted her to the hospital where she is presently admitted in serious conditions. No, what a wicked and brutal act me are telling them, my peeps. Jano Star. The hearts of men has become desperately wicked. And when I say men, I'm speaking universally, which includes women. No, my peeps, I definitely need to do a segment to show how Jamaican women are heavily involved in a lot of crime and criminal acts that is being perpetrated upon you the regular members of chan public because don't think for once not because they're not the ones squeezing the trigger that they are not heavily involved in a lot of what you see going on the blood money and the easy get rich quick mentality is definitely a thing and a lot of females are susceptible to these type of things and it is easier they know it is easier for the female to set up a man or even set up another female because people only see females as quote-unquote good yeah man so anyway my peeps a word to the wise is definitely sufficient so remember if you like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast on the spot news media yeah man